Boys and I are on our way to the jungle. We're going to Guatemala. I'm going to camp, hike, hunt, and explore my temples. You betcha. Mm -hmm. Picked up our luggage. We're on our way out to the terminal where our friend Hector's can pick us up. So we just gotta figure out how to get out of here. We just loaded up. This is our wonderful friend Hector. We're going to the supermarket or the bus station? Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. All right, awesome. We're just feeding the pigeons right now. <laughs> We've been betrayed. We almost got everything we need, then we're gonna go to the bus station and do our 12 hour ride okay. to the jungle. Hopefully head out to the jungle sometime today. Down Blaze making coffee. <clears throat> and a nice breakfast on the table this morning. And a lovely view. So there's been a sudden change of plans. Oh, well, I'm by the river and I got this. So, guy, okay, I'm gonna watch him swim away. Look what I got. That is it. Oh, watch so much. He probably went out of town, so <laughs> let's go out on the town. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like dry it and put it on the sun, and then this and part is edible. Yeah, that's edible. That's what is it like a fruit? Yeah, it's a fruit. Um, they could do cashew wine with uh -huh. this, they could do um, 
any type of and way. And the nut is right here. And the nut is right here. Is this ready to eat? No, 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 no. like the pink one or the. Oh, like that one right there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so is the nut on all of them good for eating? Or is it just the ones that are right that you can eat? So, yeah, this is ripe already, so you can eat this. But um, the, the, the seed right now, yeah. it, would, it could burn your, your... Oh, you got one. <laughs> so you eat this part? Yeah, you can eat that. Yeah, it's, bite into uh, it? Yeah, oh, okay. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. What's it's it different. Like? It's like spicy. The texture is odd. Yeah. It's sweet. It's sweet. We're calling him. He's coming down to us. Bonimundu. Kutimundu. <laughs> Hold your hand up like you have a cracker. Kutimundu! Kutimundu! Whatever you're doing, it's working. What's that? So whatever you're doing, it's working. Kutimundu! Kutimundu! So we located the Kutimundu and we're going to the grocery store to get a cracker because apparently that's what these things eat. We call it down. Blaze's well, gonna buy the cracker, so he's gonna he's gonna call it now. Unclear <laughs> if he was talking about us when he said cracker though. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. At the store, we're trying to figure out what this thing eats. Christian told us crackers. I think this is dude, I'm telling you, it's coming down for this. This is Galeta, so that's crackers as well. We are just coming back from Belize, back into Guatemala. Some yelling going on back there. So that's happening. And Christian set us up with a bunch of his friends. So like two or three different guys picked us up, took us around town. We almost ended up at a festival, but now we're going to a farm and the camp and go to the jungle tomorrow. So pretty busy. Alright, well we are a half hour away from the farm right now. It's dark out, we're going to set up camp. Down, down there. Yeah, Blaze back there. He's just filming. Look at the Joker. <laughs> we just entered the farm. Donald's locking up the gate. We just got to the farm. Look at the bubble. We're going to set up a spot in the hammock somewhere. What is it at? The bullfrog? Dude. Is it venomous or poisonous? Um, I don't think it is. We Both hold the normally bullshit. aren't. <laughs> just got this toad. This is dinner for tonight. This is how we live out here in the jungle. So I'm just going to do it raw right on the camera. <laughs> Alright, let's free him. <laughs> yeah, he ate it, dude. He all over me. You got it set up. This is the jungle hammock. There's a little rod that goes across that keeps it kind of spread out like that. There's a rain tarp, but I'm not going to use it. I got Blaze right here to protect me. Oh, you got a nice one. Yeah, I just got a... It's the kind of thing that have to set up a guy line on top. Did you take your banana? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Midnight banana, baby. <laughs> Straight from the My source. My nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're up. We are on the farm right now. We did some tarantula hunting last night. Walked around, tried to find the cows, but to no avail. And right now, I think we're gonna go do some shooting, go back, get some breakfast, and then head out to the jungle. <laughs> Shooting <laughs> without me. With the drama, we're talking bananas, man. You can pull back the hammer. And... The little orange thing we're doing the competition. You can hit it first. Okay. Just don't shoot the drug warriors. <laughs> or oh, hit me right in the chest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what, oh, that's the where his chest here is gonna grow. Oi! Oh, okay. Yeah. Do 
you know if that's high or low. I think that was a little bit that low. Was, that was low. I hit, it hit me from maybe 15 more. Feels very hefty in comparison yeah. to what I'm used to. It's yeah. bigger. I, I like to believe I'm a good shot, but there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> That was high. Yeah. That was a little bit to the left. And then you drop your third round right yeah. there so you can put it back in. I didn't really see where that went. truck right now with a giant barrel of water so we are good the entire time got a ride for the next four hours sitting on the plank got everything tied down got the giant water bottle ready to go one of the campsites back here and we had a wild ride all the way we got stopped at a checkpoint for 15 minutes and they were kind of yelling back and forth but they worked that out and then we got in an accident well somebody else in a truck hit us and then we put a gash in the center of their door this back here it's one of the campsites so I'm gonna go check it out. I want to see what's in there just made it to the temple we're walking up the steps right now we are actually about to go inside and do some exploring this here is the entrance of the temple we just explored it I can't take any footage and publish it online of the actual inside. Now there are archeologists that are coming out here and if they finish their findings and they make them public, I can put all those out there, but I will additionally add some photos of other temples that look similar to this. Well, now we're walking around the surrounding area. There's other mounds and stuff that we can actually film and get some good footage of. So we're gonna do that right now. Dude, I want one. <laughs> Look at those monkeys. <laughs> Just hiked to the top of this hill, and we're gonna go watch the sunset.
Going Tarzan mode out here. <laughs> yeah, bro, right here he's a good firefighter. Donald's going straight to the source of the howlers and the spiders. <laughs> Sun is starting to set in the jungle. Still walking around checking out the ruins. There's another temple entrance. Think we should go down? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, maybe not. Only because there might be snakes or spiders that are eating that brush down there. No, it looks like it keeps going, kind of. Scrape your chin or your. Oh no. Yeah, we're never gonna see him again. Do you see the end of it? Oh, we going? Where did you see the end? There's bats down here. There's bats? And then I see it. It turns this way. There's a passage that way. Then it goes that way. You coming? I am. Oh, go in. Yeah. Walk away. No, no, no. <laughs> After this passage here, it's the end. Oh, okay. Oh, bro, this is so cool. I'm gonna camp in that little hut I was showing you earlier. So I'm just about right to the top. I'm in the tower. And I got a really nice spot for my hammock. I camp up here tonight till tomorrow hits, whatever it brings us, but this is over. This is probably my favorite spot that I've pitched a hammock as of right now, but I like it. <laughs> this is the cramp ground for the night. Got our hammock set up. I believe Zach is taking a shower right now. Somewhere. Ah, nice. Carry on. I'm just waking up right now. So the boys are still sleeping, but I got my mount, mountain berry mix. I'm gonna go down to the eating place and get it going. Having my breakfast right now. Just kind of walking around, checking things out while I eat. There's an alligator that lives in this pond down here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chill by the bank while I eat breakfast and see if I can see him. Kinda likes to live over here in this water, but we saw a few animals here yesterday. Let's see if we can find anything. But like terminated test apparently yeah. means uh we'll see you later, baby, or I'll see you later, or something like that. Alright, we're leaving our campsite. We are heading deeper into the jungle. I think we're going to some more ruins. Which are supposed to be bigger than the last ones. So, supposedly uh, bigger than the pyramids. <laughs> yeah, bigger than the pyramids. Yeah. Bigger than the Bass Pro Shop in Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby. Is this an orange tree? I like my oranges. Orange? Maybe that one will be viable enough to eat a little bit of. No, these are all probably good enough. They're not ripe, are they? They don't all get like orange in color when they're ready here. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, yeah. Go get your oranges, Donnie. Let's go. Oh. You animal. What's that? <laughs> you animal. <laughs> Fresh straight from the jungle. Sour. Is it good? It's good, but it's got a lot of sourness to it. We are at our next campsite right now. How I love how he describes things. He's so good at giving tour tourism advice. Uh, this dude's gonna be, he's contending for one of the best tourists in the world, like tour guides. <laughs> Dude, this guy's awesome. <laughs> Show it to them, to your audience. No, the logs. Oh yeah, I can see it right now. Oh, okay. yeah, the camera's on my front. So what kind of trees are these? Uh, so there's one mahogany, and um, the rest are just some hardwood that I wouldn't know the name in English. Uh, this right here is actually not hardwood. 
this is um I don't even remember the name but it's it's a much a softer wood to work with but these are all very um pretty the types of wood so yeah. when you make furniture with it uh -huh. you don't really need to stain it or do anything special to it just like the the normal patterns of the wood are really good okay uh, these two right here you can see they barely have like any outer bark the inner bark is darker and mm -hmm. it makes for much stronger stronger um furniture whatever you want to use it for so it will last like if you were to make like for example a post to make a house with this uh -huh. uh, you can set it in the ground and it will last for a few decades that you wouldn't have to worry about replacing it in a very very long long time see what the rock is cooking <laughs> Mi coche para grabar a las patojas le puedo usar. We're on our way to the second temple site. Right there, guys. There's a tree hanging over the road here. And we can't really cut it down, so we cleared a secondary road into the jungle. And he is coming down that right now. Actually, we'll just watch him from over here. It's a tight 90 degree turn. And it's very, very narrow. When I get it edited, I'll have everything color graded too. Poor editor's gonna have like three hours to put this to school. We apologize in advance. What's the thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna edit this? If you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, dang. <laughs> Back here again, we have another bump in the road. Yeah. Check it out, we have a lot of trees blocking the way. Blaze is up on that log. They just cut down the tree that was sitting on top of the log. We just cleared a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna try to get back on as soon as we can. Yeah, so at this point, we're like six to eight hours into the jungle. And we just got past our second set of trees pulled up to him and I'm like there's no way we're gonna get those cut down Christian and his dad step out and they're like yeah no problem hold our beer and they just devoured everything in their path and we're still on our way we're about two to three hours from our last campsite we have a couple hours of daylight left so at this point you know if something goes wrong and we need medical attention it's not gonna be good we don't have eight hours of going through the jungle and it's not on foot it's eight hours in a vehicle so hopefully we make it to the second site sometime soon before dark so we can get some good footage of the temples. Which I wouldn't mind exploring them in the dark, that would be cool too. Bring out El Diablo for that one. We finally made it. We're actually at the archaeological campsite where they're all staying. People who work on excavating the site. The site's a couple hundred yards over there. So we're just getting some water. But man, I'll tell you, that ride was crazy. I was like, I'm gonna film every time we see a tree. The first time I did, the second time, and then about, I don't know, 12 times, we ended up having to cut trees down, move them out of the way, and it, that took a lot out of us. But I'm just walking around the site at the moment, just checking it out. I think we're about to get right on over to the last Maya temple. We are all the way north, east Guatemala. We're right up in the corner. Check this out. It's gotta be for cooking, I would assume. Not sure. But. The howler? A call for people. Oh. If you scream like a word, uh -huh. you won't get through the trees. Yeah. But if you scream like he did, mm -hmm. like a sound, mm -hmm. high pitch, it yeah. does get through. Okay, so that's your dad then? Yeah. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm on the side of a giant mound. You can see a 
don't know if you can see the gradient, but it's like almost straight down. We stepped on some rocks. The guy ahead of me stepped on some rocks and caused like a mini avalanche and a bunch of rocks. Our big boulders kind of started flying right at me, but we're fine. Let's see if this is supposed to be a really, really dangerous section right here. I can send a bunch of rocks flying and go tumbling down there myself, but I think we'll be okay. Almost there. I keep getting told to be careful. I'm such an aggressive climber. Oh my goodness, it's just beautiful. We sunset watching here, boys. Well, it's a little bit blocked. Block. But it's still a wonderful view. Wow. That's to get an idea of the ridge yes, and how yeah. steep and high we are, you can see the truck so is right it, there. Oh, so it was super far away from us yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it looked like those over there. Look. This is awesome. It is. And it's cool out there. I'm on the back side of the mountain right now. Behind me, you can see this little dugout on the side of the hill. And this is what the archaeologists do. They dig out on the top of a mound to see if they can find evidence that the Maya this one looks like they stopped. They didn't find enough to continue or warrant going any further in. But there's a lot of hundreds of these all around. I'm gonna my, yeah, well, we're heading back to the campsite for the night. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're just heading back. We're going to bed. <laughs> Um, remember the the boat guy in Greek mythology that takes you about the Styx River? Is it Pan? The, no, I'm... Um, Acheron, something like that, Charon. So the Mayas used to think that um, everyone would get shipped mm -hmm. from uh, this life into the afterlife on a boat and you'd have uh, demons, demons and you'd have, I think, the god um, Chak right here, right. Which, is, which is the god of rain. And um, I, I don't remember what all else. So when you got across the river, um, you get a chance to pass, I think, uh, nine challenges to get into heaven. If not, you'll stay down like in the underworld. And there's stupid challenges, like you'd have to fight gods or stuff like that. You made like a cheesy Japanese movie about it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so uh, there's an explanation of what this is right here. It says, um, the flower mountain with the mouth open, which I think is this right here. Yeah. Like a serpent's mouth receives a procession of people that walk on the back of a serpent. Oh, so this is not the boat that takes you across the underworld. It's a different thing. Oh, it makes sense. It doesn't end like it starts right here. Mm. Um, in this procession, the God of corn is the central figure. So this guy right here, probably? Or would it be this guy? Everyone looks like they're worshiping him, right? So above the mountain, there's two gardens, guardians who live. Uh, there's also serpents, uh, alligators, jaguars, and birds. The mountain gives out uh, life, strength, fertil fertility, and abundance. In the entrance of the cave in the mountain, a woman offers a basket of um, tamales. We had a change of plans. We were going to stay at the site right next to the temple that we were just at. But uh, we decided to come back because there's no one there, so we can't confirm that we're able to stay. So we're gonna drive slower on the way back. So this is gonna be like four or five, maybe even six hours through the dark night of the jungle. It's gonna be brutal. We just got back to camp and all of us are beat to hell. But we're doing dinner. Christian's dad is making us a meal. I'm spaced out. It has a long, tough journey.
feeling it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are we breaking out the tea? Yeah. I've yeah. been waiting for this moment, dude. This, what, uh, yeah. Is that my cup? Yeah. So we just had breakfast. We broke down our campsite and we are heading back to civilization sometime today. But I do believe we're going to go explore two or three more Mayan temple ruin sites and get back to town and make a plan from there. Might go back into Belize or go down south a little bit further. There's a lot of options on the table, but we are just getting ready to move on here. So we just arrived at another site, and I think we're gonna go to an outlook to look over the jungle. Boys well, and I are hiking right now. I think we're going to the top of this trail to the outlook. Christian, did you say it's an outlook over the jungle? Yes, sir. prepared me for this moment. I locked into being on Scaremaster level 5 for 60 minutes. And I remembered my training. <laughs> How's that hype, boys? We're going to one of our last mound sites right now. We are all 100% jungle primed right now. <laughs> temples like all around and then this is like approximately the size of a soccer field this is where they would have like people are on sale or bodies pile up or some BS like that that they used to hang We're at the farm again, and I guess the cows are getting vaccinated, so we're gonna go check that out and see what they do here in Guatemala. We got Blaze over here who is putting out the temporary fence right now. Then we're gonna get back there, and Christian's dad is gonna be doing his work. Not a bad gig at all.
guys check out this diving board I've broken a few American diving boards so I don't know I should give this one a shot but maybe I'll probably pass you're at Kikau National Park right now I think we're gonna go see some of the more refined temples and hopefully get a few nice animal sightings it's jaguar if we're lucky crocodile if we're lucky um, jungle turkeys what is it called Kwadi? 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 yeah we'll see what we can get Boy, am I sweating right now. We're at another one called, what is it called? Palace of the Grooves? Yes, sir. It's the main building in the group G. Yep. It receives its name from the groove vertical panels decorating the walls. You'll see them right when we get across we'll that check it panel. Out. Uh, you should yeah. stay last to like record yourself going in through the tunnel. It's that one is long gone. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you feel the difference in temperature? They this knew size. how to regulate their temperature with yeah. the wind tunnels? Yeah. It feels amazing in here. Well, it's the limestone stone. Uh -huh. The limestone also has that property of uh, like uh, keeping the heat out. Oh, wow. Plaza. Astonishing. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Here, top of the temple. This is one of the tallest views of the park. You can see behind us the entirety of the jungle and the other little temples protruding from the top of the treetops. A restaurant hotel on this giant lake. Blaze is gonna dive in for us, but you can see back there the restaurant overlooks the lake. You can watch the sunset, the pool, and the bar. A bunch of hammocks over there for chilling while you're in the water. <laughs> that was a good one. We're at the hotel and we're along the river right now. Down here is just going to be the river. And where the water is coming out, come on over to the place. We're going to the cave to check it out. I got to film my outro, so here we are. I'm using my phone right now. And it was a great trip. You know, thank you for everybody who prayed for us. Thank you for everyone who supported us along the way. It was it was amazing. And um, you know, if you want to see more stuff like this, like and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing my best to put out content like this as often as I possibly can. So there you go.